Hi, greeters. Welcome back again to our channel. On today's info session, we are happy to present Zhejiang Keji Xuyan or Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. And also we can call it ZUS. On today's info session, we will be very uh, focusing on one of the hot major of ZUS, which is uh, Chinese language and literature, business Chinese stream. For graders who haven't heard about ZUS, please click the link up here for the full version of ZUS info sessions. Let's get started and please welcome Ms. Serena as the head of project development office, School of International Education, ZUS. Hi, Ms. Serena, ni hao. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. And it's great to meet you online. Okay, uh, so actually it's my great honor to attend this online info session. And I'd like to first express our sincere gratitude to all of you and greetings from Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. Okay, next, I will take you to have a brief look of our distinctive major, Business Chinese. Okay, now you can see this PowerPoint, right? Clearly. Okay, yes. Our Business Chinese is also named Chinese Language and Literature. Okay. And it is one of our most popular programs among international students. Before we come to business Chinese, first let's have a very brief look at our university. Okay, our university exists, it's located in Hangzhou city, the provincial capital of Zhejiang province. It is only 151 kilometers from Shanghai and has very convenient transportation because it take 40 minutes to travel from Shanghai to Hangzhou by high-speed train. And we also have Hangzhou, uh, Hangzhou Xiaoshan International Airport in our city. Besides, for Zhejiang province, the economy here is highly developed. It's an eastern coastal province with GDP ranking number four in China. Uh, in our province, the electromechanical industries, food industries, textiles, Chemi chemical industries and construction industries are all very developed. Besides, in our city, we also have quite a number of national and international enterprises. I'm sure all of you have heard about Alibaba Jack Ma, right? Actually, Alibaba headquarters is only 20 minutes from Zeus campus. Once you come to Zeus, I'm sure you will be happy to visit Alibaba. And our city Hangzhou is quite dynamic and vigorous in economy, especially in e-commerce. And we also want to build Hangzhou high-tech industry development zone which is considered as Silicon Valley of China. So in our city, we also have ZTE Zhongxin, Huawei, as well as a lot of other enterprises. Once you come here to study, you will also have the opportunities to do internships or even get employed by those companies, okay? Besides, Hangzhou is also an international city. In, 27, in 2016, the G20 summit was held here in Hangzhou. And actually this year, the 2022 Asian Games was also supposed to be held here, but although postponed a little bit, okay. As for our university, okay, we have two campuses. The first the campus is Anji campus, and the second one is Xiaohexian campus, okay. Uh, and for our university, you can see the pictures about our campuses. The first two are about Xiaohexian campus. The second two are about Anji campus. The scenery here is very beautiful because Xiaohexian campus just locates the National Forestry Park, which used to just locates in the place which used to be the national uh, park. Okay. And as for anti campus, all of the architectures adopt the German style. Okay. Wow. Next. Very, very impressive about the two campuses that you have uh, by Zeus. But hmm. the international students, where they normally study and live, I mean, for example, especially if students taking bachelor degree of business Chinese. Hmm. 
Okay, usually for our international students taking business Chinese, they will study in Xiaohehuang campus. It's located in Hangzhou, 20 minutes from Alibaba headquarters. As for other international students taking the English taught programs, will also study in Xiaohehuang campus. Nice, nice. Okay, but for those Chinese taught program, okay, for the first year, they will go to Anji campus. Okay, uh, okay. Xiaohehuang mm -hmm. campus and uh, Anji campus is how long for, I mean, the distance? One hour drive. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next, the international education love exists is quite strong in China. Actually, we are one of the first universities passing the accreditation, quality accreditation organized by the Ministry of Education of China, which means we are quite strong in this field. For the first batch, there were only 27 universities passing the credit accreditation and we are one of the okay and we also rank very high in our province as for the international student number in the past few years we uh, all rank we always rank top five in our province regarding the international students number okay okay now here you can have a glimpse of the top 10 countries regarding students number. And you can see that Indonesia is one of our um, top 10 countries with a student's number. And every year, almost 100 Indonesia students are studying in this. And I hope you could be one of them, okay. Our university was founded in 1980. It's a multidisciplinary one. And ever since the establishment, we are in very close cooperation with Germany and France. Okay, we have arts, engineering, science, education, economics, management, and language education. Okay, now let's come to our distinctive major, Chinese language and literature. We also call it business Chinese. Actually, it's a combination of a study of the Chinese language and the business knowledge. During the first half of the bachelor study, students will mainly focus on the Chinese language study. For the second half, they will start to find more knowledge about the business. Okay. As for the applicants, all international students with senior high school graduation certificate or higher degree could apply as long as their mother tongue is not Chinese. Okay. Now you can have a look at the main courses of this major. Actually, we have quite a scientific system and curriculum. Here, we just list a few main courses. You will study Chinese listening, speaking, reading, writing, okay? And also, you will do the business case study, do some experiment, and study the international business negotiation skills, economic, economic law, marketing, advertisement as well as Chinese culture. Besides this, students will also be provided opportunities to do internships in nice. their bachelor study. Okay. So this is kind of like mix between that you need to grasp the ability of the Chinese language and at the same time you also learn about uh, businesses, yeah? Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. it's very, it's kind of a discipline major and quite useful. Okay, yes, the aim of this program, okay, we will train students about Chinese listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills, basic theories and practice of modern business affairs. And also they will learn the developments of Chinese culture, contemporary economy and society. They will also make business deals with fluent Chinese language and their intercultural background. Okay, okay. Now I think next part is very interesting for all of the Indonesia students because I, as far as I know, some of you have studied Chinese, have got some, some extent of Chinese proficiency. Some of you even get HSK four or five certificate. Now here is a very favorable policy for all the HSK, uh, HSK certificate holders. As for the students holding HSK4 certificate, okay, 
as long as they pass the entrance exam organized by this, they could start from the second year, which means uh, eight courses will be exempted, totally 38 credits, wow. okay, including elementary Chinese, listening, okay, oral and reading, okay, which means this will save them one year time for study and also one year expenditure for study. Okay, and as for those with even higher level Chinese proficiency, for example, with HSK5 certificate, as long as they pass the entrance exam organized by this, they could start from the third year. Okay, third year. Okay, apart from the eight courses exempted, they will have additional six courses exempted, altogether 62 credits in total. Okay, which means and the student only need to study two years for their bachelor study and then get graduated. This is quite efficiency, okay. Wow, this is a very great information from Zeus. Thank you, Serena. Mm -hmm. So greatest, if you are uh, holding the HSK4 or might be HSK5, that means if you study this program, it means you can save time a lot. But the most important is you can save also your expenditure. Like if you holding HSK4, like Serena said, that you can just three years, you finish your bachelor degree. And if you have HSK certificate five with score above 180, then it means you need only two years to finish the uh, bachelor degree. This is very interesting, Serena. I mean, students don't have to spend four years in a row because uh, as I know, maybe on the first year, they will be learning the general Chinese, right? So, yeah. yes, so students need to get uh, past the HSK 5, uh, 4, I'm sorry. Then okay. I would like very interested with the, you mentioned about past the entrance exam. What kind of the entrance exam is that? Okay, the professors of business Chinese will organize some writing quiz uh, and sometimes even the oral speaking quiz for students mm -hmm. as long as they pass it it will be okay. Great. Okay. Mm. That's very, very nice about this information. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Now let's go on here. You can see some of the facilities of this major. Okay. For the classes, it's equipped with uh, electronic devices and very comfortable. I'm sure when you study here, you will feel cozy. Okay. And also the pictures. Okay, about teacher and students taking together after class. And here, the professors of business Chinese also hold a very good relationship with their fellow students. You can say that they even enjoy dinner, uh, go out to have dinner together, as well as some other activities, okay? For example, some of our students will take part in the provincial level competition, okay? or even the school level competition about poetry. Here you can get a glimpse of the students from uh, Ukraine, from uh, Colombia, okay, from Venezuela, Russia, okay, Indonesia, okay. And also every year we hold international culture exhibition. Okay, here you can also see that in the culture exhibition, you could present the culture of your own nation, okay. Now, as for the graduation, here is a glimpse. You can see the happy face of our graduates. Okay, uh -huh. after their study of bachelor degree, they will go to society. Okay, they accumulated the experience, knowledge, as well as the happy memory here. Okay, now here, as for the expenses, for the tuition fee of this program, it's not high. It's very, very economic. Okay, affordable. It's only yeah, yeah, affordable. Okay. It's only 15,000 RMB per year because this is a public university. Okay. We don't, uh, uh, how to say, ask for more, uh, ask for very high tuition fee. Okay. And then as for accommodation, we have two, uh, we have two types. One is on campus accommodation. The second one is off campus. Okay. For both of the two types, we have double rooms. Okay. And some uh, single rooms. You can see also see the fees from this slide. Okay. Talking about the expenses, I mean, Serena, yes. mm -hmm. uh, do you have any figures um, how much 
for international students normally spend for the living cost per month? Mm -hmm. For the living cost here in this in China, it's around fifteen thousand uh, of fifteen hundred one thousand five hundred RMB. Okay, it depends actually. Mm. Yes, but the general figure is like this. Thank you. Mm. Okay, now you can see some facilities of the dorm. Okay, cozy dormitories, kitchen, public kitchen, and also we have tea house as well as canteen. Okay. Canteen. Talking okay. about the canteen, uh, do you have uh, halal food? Profile. Yeah, yeah, we have halal food. Yeah, we have halal food and also we have halal canteen. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Besides the university canteen, we also have some small restaurants around the campus. Mm -hmm. It's also convenient for students to dine there. Okay. And as for the public kitchen, they could even cook the food they want. Nice. Okay, next, more pictures about the cozy dorm. It's quite international. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next the part I think is quite also quite attractive to all the students. It's about scholarship. Okay, here I'd like to recommend three kinds of scholarships. First one is Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship for international students. It has two levels for master, okay, 30,000 RMB, one time payout. For bachelor, including business Chinese, it's 20,000 RMB, okay. I think you all remember that the tuition fee is 15,000 and the scholarship is 20,000. So it's more than enough to cover the tuition fee, okay. For the rest, students could use to pay the second year tuition fee and the insurance, okay. And we also have the scholarship for outstanding new students that exist. For this scholarship, we have four levels. First one is 100% tuition fee free for the first year. For the second one is 70% free. For the third prize is 50%. Okay, for the fourth prize, 30% free. Okay. And the last level, uh, the last kind of scholarship is promotion scholarship. Okay, usually we offer students attending our exhibition a certain amount of scholarship, no more than 5,000 RMB. Okay, it's kind of encouragement. Okay. Now, yes, here we also list the official website of our university, okay? And we welcome all of you to visit this website to get more information, okay? Okay, and uh, sorry, Selena, could you back again to the scholarship information? I would like asking, I mean, I'm sure that graders outside also have some inquiries regarding this scholarship. The scholarship okay. from the Zhejiang government, I mean, provincial scholarship, uh, mm -hmm. It can be reapplied for the second, third, and the fourth years along? Mm -hmm. Yes, usually we can have a certain number of this kind of scholarship offered for third, second year, third year, or fourth year. Yes. Right. Okay, so it's evaluation. Yes, it's based on their previous year study performance. All right. Well, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay, next, the last point I'd like to recommend all of you to apply to ZUST through our agency, Great Wall in Indonesia. Great Wall has been our uh, cooperation agency for over eight years. Ever since 2014, we've established a very reliable cooperation. And the Great Wall in the, in the past several years has been offering us very great service to both university and students. Okay, so um, I'd like to recommend the Great Wall to all of you. One more point is the Great Wall doesn't ask for any uh, service fee from students, okay? Which means free of service fee, but high quality of service. This is why I would like to recommend Great Wall to all of you, okay? Thank you, Ms. Serena. Okay. okay, then so much about the business Chinese and thank you for attending this info session, okay? Thank you for your wonderful presentation, Serena. So people now get more uh, understanding about your one of your hot major, which is Chinese language and literature with business Chinese stream. 
Okay, thank you. And I hope all of the Indonesia students could seize the day and seize the opportunity. All right, thank you so much. Uh, okay, thank you. So Gretas, this is the end of today's info session with Zeus. Thank you very much for listening. If you still have more questions, please do not hesitate to contact us for further consultation and assistance. Once again, we would like to say thank you to Zeus, to Serena, wonderful presentation. Thank you. Thank you for organizing. So Gretas, if you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Gretas, and see you again in our next video. Bye-bye.